it sounds a little strange, I never felt love in my life. Only on stage. The applause, the acceptance. We've been in each other's lives for 50 years. 55 years. What's your relationship with Roy? What does he mean to you? All these years we are together, and what we achieved, I said, I thank you very much. And I think I said, I love you. So. And he says, if I would have to do it again, I would do everything again the same way. I regret nothing. Siegfried and Roy are the ultimate showmen. They set Vegas on fire. Siegfried and Roy had been the single most successful entertainment attraction in Las Vegas history by orders of magnitude. 30 years, 48 weeks a year, capacity business. Siegfried is a magician that comes along once in a generation. Always designing and creating new illusions, magical feats that have never been tried before. When I see the wonderment in the eyes of the audience, and when the performer and the audience became one, it's very gratifying. Roy is the big animal lover. That's what brings him to life. Roy, he was always fearless. He had no fear of living, not fear of loving, and no fear of giving. The scary element is fundamental to it. Siegfried and Roy with penguins would not work, right? You need the fear that's inherent in the lions and the tigers being on stage. Roy was always bigger than life. True magic begins with reverence for the circle of creation. Siegfried is the one who has to say, how is this going to work? Uh, now, please, one time, out my life. Oh, no, I'm right here, I'm right here. Siegfried often says that he by himself would be not enough. It's never enough. And Roy by himself would be too much. I get that good feel, it's never enough. But to me, it's like thunder and lightning. The Siegfried and Roy story is the American dream story. It's pretty inspiring to think that you can come literally from nothing. Curtain drops, bum, 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 one, two, three, four. To become the most successful live entertainers in the history of Las Vegas. Their home was a lavish, over-the-top, luxurious compound in which you saw tigers and lions roaming freely. It started as one house on an ordinary road in Las Vegas and grew till they owned every house on the block and turned it into the Jungle Palace. Acres of land for the animals to roam in and play in. And, and all the animals were in the swimming pool, just swimming happily along. There were waterfalls and gold fixtures. It was a little bit flashy and a little bit over the top, but you know, these are master showmen and their home should reflect their persona. They had come a long way. I mean, these are two men who, as little boys, grew up in post-World War II Germany. Our fathers went into the war as one person, and they came back as a different. So they found their outlet in alcohol. We never had attention. I never remembered it. My father even talked to me. I just was there. When Siegfried figured out how to do his first magic trick, which was making a coin disappear, his father, for the first time, looked up and acknowledged him. He said to me, how did you do that? And that was, I think, these three words that changed my life. My life became magic, and magic became my life. Like entertainers and actors, 
A magician is often born from insecurities, lack of attention, and the need to be loved. Each one found a different outlet to escape. As his source of love, Roy turned to animals. He really developed his first real love affair with an animal at the Bremen Zoo with a cheetah named Chico. He would imitate his purring sounds. And gradually over time, they were on a wavelength and a bond. It was then we began to delve into our childhoods, that we understood there was a powerful link between our reality and our magic. For our reality, even at its darkest, turns out to be the source of our magic. The two came up with this autobiographical film about their lives and their beginnings. And according to Siegfried, things changed for him when he found this money on the street and was able to buy his very first magic book. And the magic world he yearned to master would open itself to him. Their parables, what they did with their origin stories, create this larger than life thing that happened to them that was the impetus for everything that would happen later. So these two boys would finally meet in 1959. They were both working on board the Bremen, which was a luxury liner that would cross the Atlantic from Germany to the United States. I became a first-class steward, and the captain found out there is a steward who does some magic. So one day, Roy comes here, and he helped me. And? And afterwards, I wanted to find out how he liked it. The great secret, what a great performance I gave. And he was not very impressed. I asked him, well, if you can make a rabbit disappear, how about making a cheetah disappear? I said, in magic, anything is possible. He calls me over into his cabin, open up the door, and there was the cheetah. On the boat? On, on the boat. He had snuck Chico on board and was hiding him in his cabin. We put him into the act. We had a standing ovation. Your act was born. And I thought, in show business, you don't have to be only good, you have to be different. And Roy brought the difference. They left the ship, and they began touring throughout Europe. Living on stage, pressing my luck. They were a hit. People began to fall in love with the cheetah, Chico. They had something that nobody else had shown before. So tired. On an eight-day trip. Siegfried and Roy make their way to Monaco, where they begin doing their act in a big way. And Monaco, Monte Carlo, its capital, is a big hotspot. Grace Kelly has married Prince Rainier, and so it's a hotspot for a lot of the international stars of the time. They were asked to perform for the annual gala. And this was the first time that they had really performed in front of stars. And there's Cary Grant, and there's Sophia Loren, and there's Frank Sinatra. And the next day, the headline was Siegfried and Roy, the new kings of Monte Carlo. My name's a light till they bring it in down. Da -da 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 -da. Siegfried and Roy started with a dream. Our dreams became the reality, and the reality became our life. Their sights were on bigger things. And as Roy once said, if you want to be the Pope, you go to Rome. But if you want to be an entertainer, you got to go to Vegas. They are becoming young little immigrants who are coming with a bag of dreams to America and believing, oh, this is the land of opportunities. The owners of the hotel looked at them and said, Tell us that you sing, tell us that you dance, tell us that you juggle, but don't tell us that you do magic because magic does not work in this town. People came because they were dazzled by the illusions, but the real stars of this act were the animals. Very exciting, but in the back of your mind, you could have a bad night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.